World of Flowers, illustrated by Johanna Bassford, a coloring book and floral adventure starring Dot, colored and written by me. It was only the first day at her new school and already Dot did not want to go back. She meandered home and tried to figure out how to get out of school tomorrow. The other kids are so different from me. They look and act different. They like different things. They can do different things that I can't. I'll never make friends. Dot fretted, pondered, wondered, and wandered until she came across a tiny gate. World of flowers, the gate said. She didn't remember ever seeing it before. Dot passed under the gate and noticed rows of tiny pots. These sure don't look like any flowers I've ever seen before, thought Dot, but they're still beautiful. As she continued in, she saw something that stopped her in her tracks. Welcome, Dot. Dot was terribly puzzled. How in the world did my name get on that sign? Dot kept walking and saw a wooden shed full of shelves inside and out, loaded with vases and bottles and flowers and tools. Pardon me, she said to the lovely butterfly she saw there. What is this place? How did my name get on that sign? Do you know my name too? Of course, Dot. The world of flowers is a magical garden. It's full of wondrous plants and creatures. When you come in here, you can find all sorts of answers. What kind of answers? That depends on your question, the butterfly said mysteriously. The garden is perfectly safe and you're welcome to wander around wherever you like. Have a wonderful day. Beyond the shed, she noticed a dragonfly flitting quickly between flowers, his brow furrowed in concentration. Hello, tiny dragonfly. You seem very busy today. Can I do anything to help? Oh, thank you for offering, but I really do enjoy my work. An honest day's work well done is very rewarding. I do appreciate you noticing me and being willing to help, though. Have a great day. She came across a group of butterflies playing tag around some flowers. Hi, Dot. Come play with us. Thanks for inviting me to play with you. Can I come back after I explore the garden some more? Sure, have fun, see you later. She was sure they never had trouble making friends. Two beetles crossed her path walking side by side, their steps matching perfectly. Hello, you two. Hello, they said in unison. Do you do everything at the same time? Dot asked. Oh yes, we always stay together. It's just better that way. It's always best to tell the truth, but doing it without kindness would just be hurtful. That wouldn't do at all. As they trundled away in tandem, Dot knew that they were right. Then Dot flew through enchanting fairy houses and noticed a sign near a cottage below her. Be the kind of friend you wish you had. I wonder what that means. Dot flew down to take a closer look. The cottage's front porch had a row of vases filled with plants. They reminded her of her grandmother's house and the geraniums that smelled of tomatoes. I loved going there. She always seemed so happy to see me. Look at that truck full of flowers in the driveway. It looks like they're about to deliver those happy bouquets to the whole town. How generous. She peered into the pond in the front yard. Hello, Mr. Fish. That sign in your yard. Be the kind of friend you wish you had. Do you know what it means? Well, Dot, said the wise old koi, people don't usually get into this magic garden unless they have an important question. Maybe it's your answer. But what's my question, asked Dot. Keep finding your way through the garden, little one. I'm sure it will come to you. 
Inside the cottage, Dot met some perfume makers. When we make perfume, we don't put every scent inside every bottle. Each one is unique and beautiful. Your maker made you the same way. Don't worry when people are different from you. Find out what makes them special. As a souvenir of her visit to the garden, the perfume makers made Dot a special blend and presented it to her in a sparkly wee bottle. Dot thanked them for the treasure and continued on her way. I wonder what my question is, thought Dot. Could it be how to skip school tomorrow? That doesn't seem quite right though. As she strolled through some exotic flowers, she heard a sweet song wafting through the air. All of a sudden it ended with a squawk. Look out, you've lost your bottle. Gasping, Dot realized the beautiful bird above her was right. It had fallen out of her pocket. Oh, thank you so much. Of course, dear, do you know, I've heard rumors of people who would have kept quiet and taken that bottle for themselves. I can't imagine anyone being so dishonest and selfish though, so I just don't think that rumor could be true. That would be terrible indeed, wouldn't it, Miss Bird? Thank you for your song and for saving my treasure. Have a nice day. Dot continued wandering through the flowers and thought of all the wonderful encounters she'd had that day. She wondered what the garden and its creatures were trying to tell her. I don't swim like Mr. Fish or sing like Miss Bird or make perfume or look like the butterflies. But her new friends were also kind and helpful anyway. What could it all mean? Dot found a giant flower that smelled like fruit. She would have liked to stay in its shade and enjoy the lovely scent, but she knew she had to get home soon. And besides, she heard voices nearby. What's-its are the best. Thingamajigs are better. I prefer doohickeys. Thingamabobs are where it's at. On the other side of the giant flower stalk, Dot came across four beetles drinking tea around a small table. Excuse me, but why are you sitting here yelling at each other? Oh, my dear, we're not yelling. We just get excited about our things and want to share them. We do get a little carried away sometimes though. Oh, I thought you were fighting and I couldn't figure out why you were still sitting together. We do have different opinions for sure, but that doesn't mean we can't still be respectful. Our tea times would be so boring if we all had the exact same views. We learn new things from each other all the time. Would you like some tea? I would, yes, but I really must be going. May I visit you another day? We're here every Tuesday, dear. You're welcome anytime. As Dot started walking home, she remembered the sign by the cottage, be the kind of friend you wish you had. And she remembered the things that made the creatures special, just like the perfume makers had taught her. Selfless, hardworking, helpful, hospitable, honest, kind, and respectful. Then Dot realized something. I can be all those things no matter what I look like or what I can do. My question was, how can I make friends when they're all so different from me? Now I know. Be the kind of friend I wish I had. I can do that. If I treat the kids at school like the creatures treated me, I know I'll make friends. I can't wait to tell Mr. Fish that I found my question for the answer. As Dot walked home down her street, she thought about her neighbors. They celebrated different holidays, ate different foods, spoke different languages, and lived in different kinds of houses. But they were all friends. They shared food and flowers and helped each other out. Be the kind of friend you wish you had. It works in my neighborhood. It will work at my school, too. As Dot skipped through her front door, her mom asked, How was your day, honey? It was great, Mom. I can't wait to go back to school tomorrow. The end.